you want to be good at factoring, know this. When your last term is positive, I want you to think sum. When your last term is negative, I want you to think different. Now, we know when we're factoring a quadratic trinomial, those can be broken up into a product of two binomials, all right? Now, our first two terms of our binomials always give us our first term in our trinomial, which in this case, it's easy. It's x and x, right? Because x times x gives us x squared. Now, the last two terms are gonna multiply to give us this last digit, right? So we gotta think six, like what are the factors of six? Well, we have six times one and we have three times two. I'm not worried about the positive and the negatives just at this moment, okay? So we have our two options, right? Really six and one, three and two. Here's where the sum and difference comes into play. Since this last term is positive, I'm thinking sum. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking what two numbers are going to add to give me my middle term or what two factors add to give me this middle term. Obviously, six and one is not going to work out, right? I know three and two were add to give me a five. However, it's a negative five, right? So therefore, my two factors have to be a negative three and a negative two. Now again, this works because when your last number is a sum, your two signs are either gonna be both positive or both negative. But since the sum is adding to give me negative five, I know it has to be a negative three and a negative two. Now let's go and look over here it's negative six, right? We're thinking difference. So now when we look at our factors, six and one uh, and three and two, we're looking for what factors have a difference of five. Again, forget about the negative for just a second. Obviously you can see three and two have a difference of one. Six and one though have a difference of five, but again, it's negative, right? So which one needs to be negative? Is it negative six and one or negative one and six? Hopefully you see it has to be a X minus six and a positive one. But again, remember these two multiplied to give us a negative six, but then they have a difference here of negative five. That is how you factor the difference between a sum and a difference, and now you're a little bit better at factoring.